California is a special place. We share it with thousands of organisms, and each species is a masterpiece. No wonder California is a biodiversity hotspot. Biodiversity hotspots harbor high concentrations of threatened plants and animals. This is why biodiversity hotspots are especially worthy of conservation. They are vital to our survival. It is estimated that for every plant species that goes extinct, 10 to 30 other organisms may go with it. We depend on biodiversity for food, shelter, medicine, clean water, and air. Everything that is important for human survival. While we see the destruction around us, which is now being called the sixth extinction, we often act when it's too late, when the stakes are too high and the costs are too great. The fact is we only know about 10% of the world we live in. That's it. We're degrading and destroying the web of life on our planet, and we still have so much to learn about it. So why are we here? Well, one, it's a great day to be an explorer. We have many professional scientists and explorers working on answering these questions. We're all out here to document as many species as we possibly can. But scientists have finite resources and limited time. You see, it's not one person or nation causing these problems. It's every human on Earth. That's why we need to educate and engage every citizen of the planet to be part of the solution. That's why the Academy is on a mission to grow a global network of citizen scientists. We mobilize the public to participate in real science by documenting biodiversity in their own backyards. They work alongside researchers to verify their observations and provide data to government agencies to affect change before it's too late. We're going to call this for Mike Fusca. Through tech tools like iNaturalist, we make the process of learning about the natural world easy, accurate, and actionable. And it's also fun. Anybody know the species? I think it is a slender. California slender sound. Yeah. Let's record it for iNaturalist. So iNaturalist is a piece of technology, so it's a social network where people can connect and share information about nature, and they can also collect data for science and conservation. Banana slender species. It's about 25,000 strong. When people are actively learning about their natural neighbors, they make a connection. They begin to care. They become stewards for their environment. They find their place in the larger web of biodiversity. Citizen scientists can become a global force poised to protect biodiversity locally and around the world. Is anyone an expert on leaf beetles? <laughs> At the Academy, our mission is to advance an understanding of the natural world and its sustainability. We have more tools to do this today than ever before. I am pleased to announce the launch of a significantly expanded citizen science program featuring iNaturalist. Working together, we will have a global reach by generating scientific data for conservation efforts. We hold the power for positive change in our hands.